Welcome back to Cactical Maine, dudes. Dudes. The time is finally upon us. Mwah! Yes, awesome, stupid sauce, guys. Holy cow, I'm a little excited. I finally got a new trigger to replace this horrible piece of crap that came in the Arsenal SLR 104 FR. A lot of people think that I don't like the trigger because of the pull, the two stage pull. That is not why I don't like this trigger. I hate this trigger for the fact that it fails to reset. It just does not reset. I can sit here, let me go ahead and clear the firearm. Clear. I can sit here and pull on it all day long on camera, rack, and try to show you how it sticks on the reset, but it's not going to. But I almost had no pressure on there and it didn't want to reset. It's absolutely horrible. Uh, more than one person has felt the reset on this. I have video showing me completely letting off the trigger while I'm firing and the reset just not coming and I had to go back and hit it. That is why I hate the trigger, the Arsenal trigger so much. It's not the two stage, that doesn't bother me. Not one bit. But. To replace it, I got the ALG AKTEL Enhanced Lightning Bow Trigger Design. Guys, there are so many different versions of this. I thought there was just the ALG AKT and the AKTE. I didn't know that there's so many different versions and different coatings. I got what I found in stock. Now, a quick disclaimer if you guys are professional trigger installers, I guess you can go ahead and watch this video and laugh at me uh, because guess what? This is the first time ever, ever, any firearm I mess with the trigger. Hope you enjoy the show. Okay guys, before we get started, the tools that you're gonna need are gonna be some needle nose pliers, a rubber band, and possibly a hammer. Let's clear the rifle. I got my trusty little trigger gauge here. Try to keep it. Six and a half. One more again. I keep trying to keep it down there as far as I can. 6 pounds. I'm putting it in the same spot. 6 again. I think, like I said in the beginning, six and a half. So that's where we're at, guys. Let's go ahead and take out the safety. Release that horrible doohickey. Man, there's a st stupid little shepherd's hook in there. Shepherd's crook. Don't worry, guys. I will edit this video so you don't have to see all of my jackasseries. This right here was the biggest pain in the ass to get out. I didn't think it would be, but holy shit, the way Arsenal put this in, you had to bend and contort and get this pile of crap out. There's no way to reuse it unless you guys know a magical trick on getting that out. Remember, it's my first time pulling out a trigger of anything, so it very well could have been a magical trick that I did not know about. There's that piece of garbage. Stamped USA. Anybody want an Arsenal trigger? Let me know. I'll do my best to send it to you. I might just set it on fire. It does come with a decent little uh, instruction manual. That's illustrations and everything for you guys if you need it. Okay guys, anytime you get the guts out of your, uh, your rifle, I say it's a good time to get a rag down in there and really clean her out. Unfortunately, I don't know if you guys are gonna see it or not, I shoot a uh, golden tiger. I don't know why the camera's not wanting to focus. I shoot golden tiger a lot through this one, 545 by 39. I really like it. Unfortunately, it's got that purple lacquer primer sealant and neck, and it just builds up inside 
the receiver. It just builds up in there. So if you have your guts out, might as well run a rag through it. All right, guys, let's open up this monster cool trigger. Comes in a package. Some people may complain about the packaging. It's just a plastic bag with the instructions uh, photocopied and stapled to it. Um, I don't, that's how they keep the prices low, guys, so I don't care. Look at that trigger. There she is, in all her glory. That lightning bow. All right, hammer. Sear. Sear spring, yada yada yin yang. And there's an auxiliary spring if you want. I think, I believe it gives a heavier uh, trigger pull. I'm not gonna roll with it. I like light triggers. Uh, my Daniel Fence has a light trigger. I'm accustomed to light triggers. So let's see what this Joker gets. And not to mention, the Tapco G2 trigger is an extremely light trigger on its own. First thing I need to do is test fit it and see if I need to put a roll pin in there to uh, engage my safety. All right. I got big fat fingers. So it very well may be a pain in the butt for me. That, that actually went in pretty damn smooth the first go around. Now I just gotta keep that spring from popping out and get my trigger pan back in. And there we go, it's in. There we go. Give him a hammer pin. Damn, that was almost spot the hell on. The hammer pin went in beautifully. So now let's, let's try and get these down. That joker. I <laughs> just let them go and they both went right into their spot where they're supposed to go. See if the safety works. I've read a bunch of stuff on the Arsenal SLR 104 FRs that the safety does engage, but, ah, uh, poop. Everyone wants to see it. Safety's engaged. You pull the trigger and the hammer comes up. So I gotta put the roll pin in. All right guys, we are back. As you can see, I had to add the pin to get the safety in to engage and I had to file it down and fit. Um, it's really not that big of a deal to file it down and, and do your fitment. All you gotta do is just drop your actual trigger in, put your trigger pin in, put your safety in and see. You don't have to mess with the sear and the sear spring and the hammer and hammer springs to test fit. All you gotta do is put this in there and you will be able to tell if your safety will function or not. So, we've got that done. How about we put this joker together? I do have this return, retainer plate I got to put in there as well. Let me get that out of the bag. So far guys, it hasn't really been, I mean, there's been a little bit of headaches here and there, but that's that's to be expected. So we got that, good to go. Another thing guys, if you want to put some grease on your trigger and hammer pins, uh, now's the time to do that. I just want a tiny little bit in there. Just a little bit. Grease goes a long way, dudes goes a long way if you want to get some inside your hammer there now is the time to do it again you don't need a lot just a little bit grease goes a very long ways just put a little bit on the, the hammer pin again it's gonna be hard for me to do this to where you guys can actually see and I apologize for that but there is, there really is no way for me to get the camera up and over me, um, short of installing a camera mount on the roof, which I don't think Mrs. Cactical Main will go for that, even though it is my man cave. I probably won't go for it either, so just drop in. And it drops in nice and easy, guys. I'm telling you, it's, 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 oh. And then I hit the trigger. <laughs> it goes in. You do have to be careful with your your sear and your sear spring. But 
I just want to make sure everything is good to go. It really is not that big of a deal to take this stuff out, guys. It really isn't. Um, it really isn't that big of a deal to take this trigger out. It's actually really, really easy. Look at it. More grease. Get that grease. Get it on the rail. Hammer face. Hammer time. Let's get our safety in. Let's check function, shall we? All right, you see that? Okay guys, the sear is actually not hitting, the tail of the sear is not hitting that rivet back there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, safety out. Maybe you guys will be able to see it. It looks like it's sitting over top. You can see it right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. I have no more hands to, to point at. It's sitting right over top, but it is not coming down far enough, either on trigger pull or reset to hit that rivet. Okay, so that's a good deal. We're good to go there. Now all I have to do is finagle this joker in there. I'll tell you right now, this is a whole lot it's a whole lot smoother than riding over this lumpy bastard. There it is. She is a beaut. Lightning bow trigger. Great pull. Oh. Look at this. Reset. A little short reset. Alright. Everybody wants to know what's the trigger pull on this joker. We got the trusty trigger gauge out. And let's, let's put it towards the bottom. Just some people might might go there. Let's put it towards the bottom. Ready? And pull. Right at two and a quarter pounds for the first pull. Second pull right at the bottom. All right, I slipped. I don't know, something happened there. Right at two and three quarter pounds. Right at two and a quarter. Two and a half, two and a quarter. Guys, it seems that it's gonna be a two and a quarter to a two and a half pound pull. I had a two and three quarter pound pull, one, one point. But you can see, look at this, there's a little bit of take up. All right, I'm just gonna do it this way so you guys can see. It's gonna be a little harder for me. But there is a little bit of take up, watch. You see that right there? There's a little bit of take up. I don't know if you saw that movement. Right there was two and a half on the dot. So it looks it's looking like a two and a half, a two and a quarter to two and a half. There you have it guys. I am now extremely happy that I've gotten rid of rid of the arsenal trigger. Uh, for my first time ever messing with the trigger, there was a couple of learning curves. This freaking daggone shepherd's crook or hook or whatever the hell it is. Oh my god, what a pain in the ass to get that out. Um, basically, if you've never done it before, it's brute strength pliers and or needle nose pliers and a flathead screwdriver and twist and bend to get that piece of shit out uh, it might not be every time i've seen it online someone's just pulled it right out mine was all bent and, and twisted around the pins yeah it was locked in so i mean at least arsenal did that so your pins don't walk out but what a pain in the ass and sawing the trigger was really easy especially for never of doing it before i did it without a problem no problem whatsoever um everything went in i had to put the roll pin in for the safety to actually function all right you guys you see the safety does work it's, it's not firing you take the safety off fires okay. the safety does work um and it, it was really easy i just filed it down with my dremel tool and the rear the rear little tang sticking out of the back of the sear it's sits over the rivet in the arsenals it sits over the rivet right there uh but it's not hitting it it's not hitting it when the trigger is being reset it's not being hit when the trigger is um depressed it's not hitting it when the pr trigger is depressed and reset i am going to keep an eye on that um obviously things get a little bit more violent with live rounds flying through and live rounds racking the bolt instead of just your hand so I will monitor it after its next range visit. 
You've seen it guys, it's about a two and a quarter to two and a half pound trigger without putting the extra spring in there. I don't wanna put the extra spring in there right just yet. I wanna go have some live fire. It's a, it's, it's a light trigger guys, but I'm used to light triggers with my Daniel Defense, with the Geisley uh, Super 3 gun in there. So I'm used to it, I'm good to go. And besides, the Taco G2 is only like a half a pound heavier, so really? Let's go on with it, guys. It's a beautiful trigger. Love the feel. Love the lightning bow design. And stay tuned for some more videos. Thanks for stopping by the Tactical Main channel, guys. I hope this installation video wasn't too hard for you. Again, I've never messed with a trigger on any firearm before. I've done it now, and it's no big deal. Thanks for stopping by again. Subscribe if you like the video. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Have a great, great day.